Yesterday afternoon, we got some of our first news on the Lando series since it was announced back in late 2020. According to Variety, Lando actor Donald Glover and his brother Steven signed on to write Lando sometime before the WGA strike began. In April, Donald spoke with GQ, hinting that some news like this might be on the horizon, saying, I would love to play Lando again. It's a fun time being him. It just has to be the right way to do it. Time is precious. You only get so much. I'm not interested in doing anything that's going to be a waste of my time or just a paycheck. I'd much rather spend time with people that I enjoy. It just has to be the right thing, and I think it could be. Lando is definitely somebody I like to hang out with. This is great news in my opinion, and I'll talk about it more in a second, but first I need to point out that it means nothing until Donald is allowed to write the scripts and perform the role again. We're still in the middle of two Hollywood strikes because Disney and the other members of the AMPTP are unwilling to pay their writers and actors fairly for their work, specifically on streaming. I think Donald Glover is immensely talented, and his comments suggest he is passionate about the project. I want this to happen, but I want him to be treated fairly. Disney and the other studios need to set aside their blatant greed, stop posting outrageous job offers for AI specialists, and pay the people they rely on to tell their stories. Which brings me to another point those studios don't seem to understand. When I see a headline about the Glover brothers riding Lando, it fills me with excitement and my head starts spinning with possibilities because I know and love their body of work. The team behind Atlanta are writing Star Wars? Yes, sign me up. I will never be excited to read a headline that says a computer is writing the next Star Wars project. Art is great because of the humanity and passion that goes into it. It should not be cold and automated. But those are the two rants my brain immediately went on when I saw this article yesterday. I went from excitement to absolute frustration because I'm so happy there's movement on the Lando series and the Glovers could make something very unique and special. But Disney needs to get it together so it can actually happen. I've been a fan of Donald Glover since 2006 and his YouTube days. I followed him as a writer on 30 Rock, then he was on Community, I watched his stand-up, I followed him as he became Childish Gambino, and he's maybe best known for creating, writing, and starring in Atlanta. I was overjoyed when he was cast as Lando in Solo A Star Wars Story, and I thought he was fantastic in the role. He and Steven taking over for the writing on the Lando series reminds me of Tony Gilroy and his involvement in Andor. According According to him, the first pitch for the series was about Cassian and K2SO going on a new mission every week. That track, since Alan Tudyk was front and center when the series was announced, but the script struggled to get off the ground, and just like Lucasfilm turned to Gilroy for help in Rogue One, they came to him for advice, and then he became the showrunner and transformed it into what we saw, which I thought was phenomenal. I'm sure there was an interesting pitch for the Lando series to begin with. I'm sure Disney was always hoping Glover would return, but like he told GQ, he's not interested in doing anything that's going to be just a paycheck. Maybe the initial ideas weren't enough to convince him. Now he's been given some creative control, and if you've ever seen an episode of Atlanta, you know that could be great. Atlanta is fairly grounded in realism, telling the story of a rapper on the rise and his cousin who works as his manager, but the show isn't afraid to dive into absurd premises and comedy. Just watch the Teddy Perkins episode for a heavy dose of that. The show also isn't afraid to use its platform to explore or social issues, not just in Atlanta, but on a global scale. Just like with the Andor series, I think Lando probably had a decent initial pitch. But just like with the Andor series and how Tony Gilroy came in to elevate that idea into something more, that's my hope for the Lando series. Donald Glover is closer to the character. He has played Lando. He is personally invested of the future of the character and what can be said with the character. I was already excited about the prospect of Donald Glover returning to play Lando back when we didn't know any details about the series, but now that we know more about the creative team, my general interest has changed into thinking this could be really special. I'm sure even without the strikes, this series is years away. So again, Disney and the rest of the AMPTP cut out the cartoonishly gross levels of greed. Bob Iger, you make more than enough money. The actors and writers aren't being unrealistic as you claim. Treat your writers and actors with respect and dignity. Every writer and actor and employee in the entertainment industry deserves to put their art out into the world without being being taken advantage of. I'll put a link to more information about the strike in the description, as well as a great video by Dan Merle that explains the whole situation if you're feeling out of the loop. But that's it from me for today. Let me know your thoughts on Donald and Steven Glover writing Lando in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on our socials, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.